As I mentioned before, these are fully associative back to the uh, 3D model. So what I'd like to do is show you how to update the view, but first let me just apply a, one more dimension here. We'll just zoom in and we'll apply a dimension onto here. I'll get that going. Then if I just want to edit the uh, 3D scene, I can just let, open up the uh, file and uh, make, make an edit. So here we'll just do File Open. And let's see here, we'll select the uh, scene that we're working on. And of course, any if I make any changes, say we want to make this uh, 300 millimeters, make this piece here 300 millimeters. And we can change the radius of the holes, or we could add other, uh, we could maybe change this part down here. We'll just edit the size of this hole. And then if we go back to our uh, drawing, I can just do a control tab. It'll take us over there. It'll say the information's changed. You want to update? I just click yes, and we get our updated view. And the dimensions automatically update. Uh, we get our updated uh, views here. If we want to add in another view at this point, we can as by, just by simply clicking on 3D interface and clicking on standard view and adding in yet another, uh, another view. Um, we can also create bill of materials fully associative back to the uh, back to the uh, drawing um, or back to the 3D scene. Of, and uh, let's do that. I'm just going to create a new Casa Draft drawing. Again, we'll use the A3 template. So I just click uh, File New, and I'll bring up the A3, uh, Casa Draft A3 template. And this time I'll use a different file. I'm going to use a uh, let's, let's browse here. I'm going to simple assembly here. Now this is a bill of materials, so I'm just going to click on the isometric view and place this on the drawing. And to uh, create a bill of materials, all I have to do is click on, within the 3D interface tab, click on import bill of materials, and I'll browse for my data source. You can have multiple data sources, which is quite nice, and then I can, once the data source is listed, I just select it, and then I can go in and make uh, make changes here. Uh, the information, these attributes that, that you see here are being pulled from the 3D file. So, um, for example, I want to change uh, maybe this the material field from mass density to material. Material is an item that I put as a custom property on the uh, bill of materials file on the uh, 3D scene. And under remarks, I've got my last update date, so I'll just click OK. And the bill of materials gets placed, and you get a preview window here where you can actually uh, turn off elements if you don't want them. For example, we've got a few a few parts here that aren't actually uh, have any data on them on them yet, so we'll just click OK. And there's our bill of materials. Now the bill of materials is a style, and you can define multiple styles for the uh, for the for the uh, for the for your templates. So again, if I go back to my style manager under uh, bill of materials, here you can adjust. Uh, here's the header, as you can see here, it corresponds to here. Maybe, um, for example, let's zoom in here. The uh, number and the part number it's too small, so maybe we want to adjust the size of that. Just go to the Style Manager and define your bomb. Uh, just pick on the field. We'll maybe pick on this field here and make it about 25 units wide. Same with this field here. I think I put in 30, yeah, 25 and 25. So the header updates, and when we click OK, you'll see the update here. We can also add as many uh, columns as we'd like. We can just right click in this area here and add items, or we can add side, sub items to others. For example, we have weight here, and we have sub-items of single and amount, which is what you're seeing right here in the 2D drawing. So click OK, and the bill of materials updates. Uh, we can then, of course, add in um, item bubbles. We can do it automatically, or we can manually generate them. I can just, to manually generate, I just select the manual, manual generate tool and start clicking on the design, and uh, I get my, my bill of materials information. Now another thing that I mentioned when we first started talking about Casa Draft is that you can use it to edit all of your legacy 2D data. So maybe we want to uh, maybe we want to work on some old 2D files that we have, and it's not just limited to mechanical. Um, although a majority of the tools inside of Casa Draft are targeted towards mechanical, you can work with any type of DWG or DXF file. So it can be either you know it could be architectural, it could be mechanical. 
So let me show you a bit of that. We'll just click again on open and this time we'll pick a, a DWG file and I'm going to uh, open select this file here and click open and it comes right in and you're in the uh, CASA draft environment and you can go ahead go ahead and uh, edit the uh, document um, let's take a look here we can you know it's a, it, it supports all the styles everything that was, was that was defined in the original DWG if I want to make edits I can just quickly edit the file maybe I want to add another dimension I can just of course update my uh, annotations Maybe we'll add a quick uh, another ordinate dimension on onto the uh, file here we can also go in you know uh, let's see here we can also open up another uh, type of file maybe we want to open up maybe you've got a floor plan of an office that you're that you're looking at um, again you can open up these files so we can click open open up this uh, floor plan file here and just ignore the missing uh, uh, font files there and you know you can of course again fully uh, compatible we can go in maybe you want to change this desk uh, to a larger desk maybe it's a desk for a for the um, for a team leader we can just quickly take uh, the dimension the, uh, the geometry and, and extend the desk um, we support all the standard commands that you'd expect if we click on the common tab we have the ability to move geometry so I can just pick these objects here we'll just box select these click on move and I can now quickly efficiently move uh, the detail around. I can save it as a native file to IronCAD or I can save it as a, a DWG again. Uh, the native file is called an, an EXB file but I can also select uh, DWG and, and uh, DXF and save it out any way I want or I could save you know as a new template or something. So with with CASA draft inside of inside of IronCAD next generation you you really have a a full 2D uh, annotation tool for both anything you create in 3D inside of IronCAD and uh, the ability to work with all of your legacy 2D data you don't need to learn a new 2D interface with the one tool you've got the ability to use um, uh, to design fully in 3D and to have full access to your 2D libraries. It's a really powerful feature and again it works within the IronCAD process so it's really fast um, and it's just one of the new things that we're bringing in, in IronCAD next generation.